You both have something really interesting in common, which is that each of you start opposite an Oscar winning performance of the Joker, obviously one of cinema's great villains. Uh, I'm curious, th thinking back to the scenes you shared with Heath Ledger, with Joaquin Phoenix, if you knew in the moment each of you were witnessing something special and Oscar worthy, and by any chance, have you seen each other's films featuring the Joker? Uh, Mr. De Niro, Mr. Bale, an honor to see you guys again. How are you? How are you? Doing well. I'm going to jump into this because I got a thousand questions for you. Um, obviously, you both are no stranger to playing real people. In some cases, like Jake LaMotta and Dickie Eklund, you were able to actually meet them. In other cases, obviously, like Al Capone and Ken Miles, you weren't. I'm curious as an actor, what are the advantages and disadvantages of meeting the person you're going to play? And who is the person you met that maybe most affected how you ended up playing the role in the long run? Well, you know, I didn't, in, in the ca case of uh, Amsterdam, I didn't, of course, meet um, uh, uh, <clears throat> Smedley Butler, but he, uh, the, the Dillenbeck's uh, uh, model uh, for Dillenbeck, um, but would have been interesting. But I was never aware of someone uh, like him um, or him. Mm -hmm. And so it was. Um, uh, illuminating for me to see that there was such a person at that time, uh, at that time in history, especially with what was going on, kind of similar to today. And um, so it was uh, great for me. You gave Dickie as an example. What a character, man. I enjoyed hanging out with him. I met all the cops who'd arrested him on multiple occasions. Mm -hmm. I met all of his friends from the uh, boxing gyms and whatnot and hung out and low with him. We still stay in touch and I yeah. do with his son as well, Dickie Jr. Uh, uh, and uh, the thing though, when, you, when, you, when you're involved uh, with someone directly playing them is just that you cannot just tell the good sides. Oh, that doesn't make a story. You've got to tell the bad side as well. That's why it's the roller coaster. That's why it makes a story. So there were a couple of times when I had to when I saw Dickie not looking too happy and kind of beelining over towards David like he had, you know, he had a beef and I know that Dickie's pretty handy with his fists and I would stand in between him and go, Dickie, Dickie, <laughs> we got to tell the good and the bad, all right? And But uh, I, I love the guy and it was such a pleasure uh, to get to play him. But even when you're playing a character like Bert, you know, who, who obviously is a, a fictional character placed in factual events, I still base him on real people that I know or someone I see walking down the street or a mannerism of this guy or, you know, a, a little bit of this, a little bit of that uh, uh, we'll put in. You know, uh, Mr. Bell, you were around 13 when you first got into the industry working with, with Spielberg in 86, 87. And that's around the time that Mr. De Niro was starring in movies like The Untouchables and, and Midnight Run. Yeah. When you first started acting, like what was your perception of Robert De Niro? Like, what do you remember thinking of him as a young actor? Well, the, he was the bedrock of cinema. He was, he, you know, it, look, I'm still the small town boy who's kind of stunned I'm sitting here next to Bob and get to call him Bob. And I've worked with him a couple of times now. That is such a, a damn honor. But but more than that, uh, it, it, it's it's very satisfying, you know? I mean, uh, uh, the, 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 probably more than any actor in history has done, you know, iconic roles that define you know, American cinema. I mean, the list just goes on and on and on. So, you know, uh, w what a thing, what a joy uh, to For get sure. to work with this man. They're, <laughs> <laughs> they're giving the rap, but I just wanted to ask really quickly and end you guys on this one. You both have something really interesting in common, which is that each of you start opposite an Oscar winning performance of the Joker, obviously one of cinema's great villains. Uh, I'm curious, th thinking back to the scenes you shared with Heath Ledger, with Joaquin Phoenix, if you knew in the moment each of you were witnessing something special and Oscar worthy, and by any chance, have you seen each other's films featuring the Joker? Oh yeah, I, I, I've certainly seen the Joker. Um, and, and absolutely, absolutely. I, I knew that Heath was doing something incredibly special, yeah. Yeah, I know I didn't see uh, um, uh, the, the Heath Ledger, um, film. I, I just didn't see it. Well, both of you guys are, are absolute legends and has never lost on me how much of an honor it is to speak with both of you. So seriously, thank you. A little bit time. more of a legend right here than here. Oh. Uh, I appreciate the effort, but come on, let's be truthful. <laughs> yes, sir. Fair enough. Well, I could talk to you all day. They're giving me a wrap. I wish I had more time, but seriously, right, thank you. Thank I appreciate you. you. Thank 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 you.